What is it, Zordon? What? They're evil Power Rangers. We will stop them. Hello, everybody. This is Leobach, and as you may have just realized, I'm a huge nerd for Power Rangers. <laughs> um, and also in the last episode, uh, and also we're playing a uh, Super Mario RPG, by the way. <laughs> if you haven't been able to figure that out by now, I'd be surprised if you couldn't. Anyway, in the last episode, we encountered, we almost got the star, we almost got the sixth star, but it got stolen at the last second by the Axum Rangers. These guys. Hey Red, look down there. This, that's guy with the ugliest mustache I've ever seen. Ew, gross. That guy's worse looking than that Claude Mario. Hey, I still look better than Mario. Wait a minute. That is Mario, you idiot! Listen, everyone, we gotta get the start of the blade immediately. We'll deal with Mario later. And here we start one of the, probably one of the coolest scenes in the game. It's just basically a chase scene. <coughs> hey, Red, get with it! You're awesome! Got the wrong voice there for that one. Not sure that really matters, because my voice acting isn't that diverse, is it? I got I do have my moments. Can't do female voices like I could ever since uh Paper, that one incident in Paper Mario. Yeah. <coughs> right here at the end of the chase sequence, we're getting ready to enter, you guessed it, the boss sequence! Once we hit the spring. <laughs> He'll be here. Are you sure? Relax, people. Mario's here. He's too late. Where's the blade? Shut up already. And holy crap, that's one hell of a Megazord. Finally! <laughs> now we can fight Power Rangers. We can fight evil Power Rangers. For, seriously, these guys are like the exact evil. These guys are powering in their evil form. Anyway, anyway, I'm just repeating myself several times. We fight for evil. We live for disorder. We like what we do. We struggle for chaos. We are the Action Rangers. See you know what I mean? Their mo their credo is just pure evil. That star pe just people hope. It needs to be destroyed. Okay, so as you can tell, opening moves, Axe and Black, it says first. Twice. That's usually his, that's usually his uh, thing. Now, <clears throat> as you just saw, Axe and Black hits twice. Axe and Red is just kind of leader. He has a strong special defense. Axe and Yellow has the strongest defense. Axe and Green always hits everyone with a multi target move. And Axe and Pink, well. No, actually, you'll learn what she does here in a second. And it's going to be pointless here regardless of what... She heals. She not only healed herself, but she healed herself for absolutely nothing because I did nothing to her on that open move. Which, honestly, is like the first time I've ever seen her heal herself, much less herself without any damage. And that's also the first time I've ever seen Green not hit anyone. Um... This, I'm not gonna lie, this can be a rough battle if you're under level. Uh, up to a certain point. Once you're able to get rid of two, two of the action rangers, particularly pink, black, and green, it should be a lot easier. Especially considering that red and yellow only attack once. You see, we've already beaten pink, that's not too hard. She had the lowest health out of them all, ironically. Or, not ironically. Now, I like the little, uh, clips they have there. There we go, that's green specialty. Well, that and Static E. I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. Oh, uh, but it nearly kills Gino, so we're gonna heal him. <laughs> yeah, expect to have a dedicated healer through this whole, through this whole match. At least for the beginning, like I said before. <coughs> anyway, um... Now we're done talking about the uh, bad guys and how to beat them. I'll go ahead and talk about a little history about these guys. 
Oh, a little personal history. I, I love these guys as bad guys. These guys are like the coolest bad guys in my opinion ever. Um, basically because... Well, let's face it, Power Rangers goes around then. Power Rangers is popular. I still... As you may have noticed from my opening, I still love Power Rangers to this day, and it's still... One of the best kids... Still, in my opinion, one of the best kids shows of our time. And... Hey, these guys are power... These guys are evil Power Rangers. That's what we've been wanting since... Actually, I'm thinking this was before the, uh, Psycho Rangers came in... Power Rangers in space. Um... I'm gonna... Wait till Mario starts doing this. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, these guys are evil. And, uh... A little, bit, a little bit of toting my knowledge around. Of course, as, as a kid, I always loved, uh... As a kid, all the, guy, all the boys, like, loved Kimberly, had a crush on her, the Pink Ranger, because she was cute. And, of course, every kid... What? Well, every kid was a fan of Tommy, the Green Ranger. A little, a little bit of... A, a little bit of, uh... A, a little bit of cool trivia here is, uh... One of my favorite voice actors for anime, Johnny Young Bosch, ended up becoming the Black Ranger, I believe, in the second season, second or third season of Power Rangers. And he replaced the uh, other Black Ranger, who was my favorite character at that time. <laughs> and, uh... So, yeah. My, when I thought, and I'll tell you this, when I thought about my favorite voice actor was, uh, was originally a Power Ranger, my nerd meter just kind of filled above and beyond what it should have been. <laughs> I mean, not only did the guy who voiced, he voiced Ichigo, Vash Stampede, um, and Bumblebee from Transformers of Cybertron, yeah, because I know, yeah, because I know the other two are going to be so well-known characters. Well, in anime, they actually are. That's the funny thing. Um, yeah, the, the, my three favorite characters, my three favorite anime slash games, or franchises, <laughs> things, because Transformers is definitely one of my favorite. You would defeat Black. <laughs> you notice how he's the only one wearing glasses. You know the others have, like, the same exact eyes. Well, except for Pink. Pink has different not has like the little eyelash, but then again, she's a, she's a female character, so you kind of gotta expect that. And I'll tell you this: another bit of another bit of info I bet you never knew about these guys. You now these guys are are racially insensitive. For those of you who don't know that joke, or if I just made it that bad, supposedly. <coughs> Supposedly the, the two, the Black and Yellow Ranger in the original show, in the original series, in the first season, happened to be, well, Black and Asian in that order. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, say it was an, they say it was an accident and they didn't mean to cast it like that, but, you know, I, I never really, me and all my... I asked my friends this, none of my friends, uh, none of my friends as well as myself ever cared that they were, that the Black Ranger was in a black costume and the Yellow Ranger, the Asian Ranger was, the, was in the yellow outfit. I never really caught, I never really caught that again. No, so now, because people are pointing this out, like, how racist it was, and, uh, was that, uh, the cars was, Regardless of those accidental, uh, watching when Cars History of the Power Ranger points out, yeah, it was accidental, but it's still racist. Um, I guess to some degree I can understand what he's talking about, but accidental racism is just, I, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's I don't understand it's a whole lot about the outside world and, or whatever. Anyway. <laughs> That's not what this. That's not what this. That's not what this game is about. I'm not gonna talk. Start talking politics, PC, or, or political correctness, or 
breathing matter. Um, we're, we're just here to beat up evil Power Rangers. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting close to beating. Uh, we've already gotten down the green one and the yellow one out of order. Well, mine's in the order anyway. Uh, we're gonna finish up with the leader, the red one. It shouldn't be too far from being dead. Uh, now this battle should get really easy right here, but simply for the fact that, uh, well, we're on, we're on the last ranger. And it seems so very strange thing that we're gonna beat up a power ranger. Even if they're not really power rangers, they're parodies. Well, technically parodies, so. Uh, basically what you just do here is just kinda beat him up until you get to this point. Enough! Now I'm angry! Time to finish this! Formation! Uh oh! Oh great, we get to fight the Megazord now! Here we go! And it's just ahead. Yes. Yeah, the epic fight scene I was hoping with a giant robot turned out to be just this. <laughs> no! Sora gets his only attack as a breaker beam. Right there! I guess the, the animation for the head at least is pretty interesting. And it nearly kills Gino. Okay, so we're gonna start, uh, I believe jumps will work on this guy. Um, here we are at the final phase of the battle, we're fighting just Axe and Rangers. Just one. Uh, basically just, uh, work but does Jack Squads. Basically, you're just fighting the one machine. That's it. You're not fighting anyone else. Um, and we get, we get a few turns for uh, recharging, so... Just kind of... Basically, just slam in your attacks. Just, as you know, it's just, just some special attacks, but... No, that shouldn't matter too much. Okay, it's gonna... Take like every two t every two turns of attacks. Two or three. I'm count. I don't know. I'm not gonna count there. But anyway, <coughs> yeah, this is where the crap. This is uh. Actually, with my, yeah, I'm gonna wanna. I think I'm wanting to uh, buff up Mario. Did, did I? Uh, did I already buff him up? I'm pretty sure I did. I don't think I did him. I don't remember if he died during this battle. Yeah, that tells you my, that tells you my uh, goldfish of memory. <laughs> my, yeah, my memory is like a gold, like goldfish. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> uh, that's very sad of me to say that. Um, I don't think Mario died, though. I'm just being careful, more cautious. And I will say this. This can be rough if you don't heal properly. But, other than this, they're just going to be doing this for probably the next couple of minutes. Hopefully, not too long. Just, uh, crap, I want to say this guy had a lot of health. Um. Oh, we'd be. Oh, we just beat him now anyway, so. This isn't possible! We are invincible! Oh, uh, crap, what's his name? Boris from Gold Knight. I'M INVINCIBLE! And then he gets frozen in the... Nitrous Oxide or whatever it was. Can this be happening? To the Axe Rangers? Yes it can. Run and jump! Then we beat them! Why are the coolest uh, scenes we'll see there? And Mario reached all 17! Yeah. I remember I, I thought I was a level below. I leveled up off screen without realizing it. Um. Toast to reach level 17. Yay! He's gonna bring power this time. Mallow reaches level 17. Yay! Bowser reaches level 17. Boo! Just trying to be different. Okay. I guess I was a little sticking at the last episode. Here we get explosions! Woohoo! Oh. For some reason, it felt like Michael Bay directed that part. Yeah. That, 
If the joke was the joke isn't obvious to you, then you should know one thing. The only thing Michael Bay's really good at is explosions. <laughs> and giant robots fighting that I think just got lucky with the first with the first Transformers. <clears throat> anyway, six star pieces have finally been collected. Where could that last star piece be? Hmm. I'm gonna have to guess the bad guys hold it. So anyway, I was, uh, once you beat Bear Volcano, the only place left to go is back into Nimbus Land. Um, I believe, let's see, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can do here. No, I do want to try, uh, try to see if I can get this one dream sequence. I don't think I mentioned what it was. Um, Dream Cushion, I'll try anything once, even though we've already tried it, like, well, I think, like, two or three times before now. And we got the same dream as we got it the first time. Which is weird, because I don't remember that, but I don't remember Do Mario died. Whether or not Mario died in the last battle. But I know Gino died for sure. Look, there's someone sleeping next to us. I don't think I saw that before. Hmm. Can't seem to find the casino. Oh, he's talking about the casino. That's what I the leaflet. Three jumps in a bright car will get you in, but no chomps allowed. Yeah. Yeah, that was basically the hint to getting into the casino that I showed you earlier. But, um... Actually, oh, let me see here. I think... Uh... Oops, I actually got the wrong guy there. Oh, well. Um... Um, oh, that was late. <laughs> That's what you're was late there. Um, go ahead and sell that. There you go. And that's just for, that's just now. Now what we do next is oh, I'm gonna say that's the next episode. So in the next episode, we're gonna go up these stairs and take a taxi. I'm not. I kid you not. To Bowser's keep. So until then, I'll see you guys later.